breakfast seven to nine. Eight twelve. Not a living soul behind the door and door locked. You can't even get out. Front door locked too. <laughs> It is 8 a.m. It's not an unusual hour or anything like that. Other than that, this is the best hotel on the trip so far. The beds were really nice and the overall quality of the place is pretty good. We still recommend it. Uh, we'll wait to see how the breakfast situation is resolved. But uh, so far so good. Okay, update. It's 8.23 and the breakfast is ready and served. Cheers, hotel! did some driving this uh, building behind me is our hotel for tonight it's called Promenada we have arrived to the town of Ostruda in Poland Ostruda this is our uh, this is this is the place for tonight where we're staying first impression is uh, pretty interesting looking nice looking good the weather is still gorgeous we're at the lake so this really looks like a nice location and I think it will keep Mavic busy for uh, tonight's evening and definitely tomorrow's morning. So tomorrow I'm getting up early again. Today, this morning, was the first morning since we arrived to Poland where I, when I didn't get up for sunrise. Because it's not even that I didn't want to, it's just that I was able to sleep through the morning hours. The first three mornings I woke up at 4 30 5 a.m. and I couldn't sleep anymore this is the weird thing that jet lag is doing to me but I think I think it's wearing off I feel like it's getting better and now I'll be able to sleep in the morning so tomorrow I will have to make myself get up I'm gonna take a quick look at this lake right now I dig this town so far. There's uh, automated water skiing going on behind us and a party in the middle of the day with pretty loud music. So, seems like a fun place to be. I wish we were staying more than one night. park in Ostruda is a fantastic place to be especially on a day like this we have to check out what this party is because it's getting really louder it's all coming from there somewhere there are you excited to be here something like that going on so uh, it's loud and a lot of people singing seems like whatever they want Enter 
entertainment. I've seen in Poland so far. Those fingernails look as old as this castle. <laughs> what is that? Oh. Is there a document somewhere that says so? They don't need Halloween decorations when they have things like that. <laughs> We're visiting a castle of the Teutonic Order here in Ostruda and uh, Blani found something that really scares the crap out of actually both of us. I wish there was some explanation of what this really represents. Our guess is it's a witch. If any of you know what the hell is the origin of this statue and what it's supposed to be showing, please let us know. have um, renaissance fairs in the US and you don't have them here but you could have a renaissance fair around a real castle here why don't they do that maybe they do do that we should find one or else we should move here and make one przerażającej postaci, tak? No to jest taka współczesna rzeźba artysty, który tutaj przez jakiś czas pracował na zamku no i tak się wpasowała tutaj u nas w okno, nie ma żadnej historii szczególnej związanej z nią. It's tak zwana topielica można określić. by an artist that worked with them at the castle and mm -hmm. doesn't have any history. Oh. A my już myśleliśmy, że to jakaś była wiedźma stara czy coś no, takiego. taka bardziej współczesna. Wiedźmy zawsze są. <laughs> He says there's always witches. <laughs> This is so disappointing that the witch sculpture is not something scary that, you know, people were afraid of in the ancient times here but it's a contemporary sculpture of an artist that just had a vision that fit this place that's it there's an herb drinking bar underneath the castle very interesting place with a lot of stuff that can heal pretty much anything. So if you have a heart problem or a cancer problem or you need to grow back one of your legs, you come down here, get a specific herbal treatment and you're like new. Prawie taki sam. 